Hello guys from my studio Copelli, welcome back to my channel. For the new people, I'm gonna explain who I am. I'm a maestro pizzaiolo. I teach on this channel how to make the best pizza. So today this video is about making the pizza dough for your business. So if you own a pizzeria, please make sure to watch this video because we are going to make one of the best pizza dough ever with Biga. So I'm gonna explain to you all the steps at the end of this video i'm just asking just to thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video let's get into the recipe let's go see how to make uh, the full pizza dough for your business with biga let's go now the first thing to do is to we have to make the biga but before where's my jacket Wait, there we go. Now, now we attack you. Yes, we can start to make uh, the biga. So what we need here, it's very simple, three things. We need a container, nice and tall like this. We need three liters of water, three liters of water cold. We need 15 grams of uh, dry yeast, six kilograms of uh, zero zero flour. And also we need a container to mix our biga. We have to add our flour in the this container. Second thing to do is we need to add our yeast. Put it in your hand, just dump like that. So let's mix up the, the yeast just like that. There we go. We add our water. Don't put it all together because this one, we don't gotta make the dough. When you mix the dough, just like that. There we go. Our biga is ready. That's how it's supposed to be look like. Make sure you make the, the biga just like that. Do you remember this container? So we have to add our biga in the container. Our biga is ready. Very important. We have to close the biga really well. Really well, and uh, uh, make sure there's no hair. And now we are ready to place this biga in the fridge for 48 hours minimum. Leave it out uh, at room temperature for one hour, and then we place the biga in the fridge for 48 hours. Okay guys, here we are. We are in the middle of uh, making the pizza dough. So I'm gonna explain to you briefly what we need. We are going to use uh, four things, really simple. So the biga, which is this one, we're gonna switch it for the yeast because that becomes our yeast. So we have a biga, we have sea salt, we have water, cold, and we have uh, flour of course so I want to explain to you uh, before we start everything uh, one thing really uh, quick uh, to understand better so uh, dehydration what's dehydration dehydration is the water that goes in the flour so that's very simple dehydration is the water when you want the dough to grow faster easy you put less salt more water when you want the pizza a little bit more crunchy and the slow fermentation, you add more flour. That means low hydration, so a uh, little bit less water. It's a little bit complicated, but uh, we just gotta understand. So it's a very simple. So if you use a, a low temperature oven, that means you have to put a little bit more water on the hydration. The higher is the oven, the lower you can go with the hydration. That's clear, simple. The higher, the higher is the oven, the lower is the 
hydration. Hopefully this one will help you. And uh, this dough that we're gonna make today for me is a really, uh, like a really, really good dough. It's a nice fermented, nice and soft, like you can see here, the, the crust, nice and soft uh, at the same time, crunchy and soft at the same time. And uh, of course, the flavor that gives you the biga, no other type of dough uh, does. So in this dough, we are going to use a zero zero flour. I use a, personally use a Molino Piantoni flour, regular sea salt, cold water, and uh, uh, you can do this dough with any type of uh, dough machine. So no worry about that. Regular speed. Let's get into the recipe. That's what we need to create our dough. So we are going to use uh, 12 liters of water, 700 grams of uh, sea salt, 18 kilos of uh, zero zero flour, and of course, the biga that we create. So this is uh, basically three liters plus six kilos of uh, flour with uh, the yeast. The first step to do is we have to add our biga. So this is the way how to put the biga in the dough machine. So we're gonna break the biga by pieces, just like that. I want to show you the biga, how it looks like after two, two days of uh, fermentation. The second step, we have to add the water. Because adding the water first will help to melt the biga in, with the water uh, in an easy way. After we add the water and the biga, we have to melt the biga, so we're gonna uh, turn it on the machine. The goal here is now to melt the biga. For the dough machine, there are a fork mixer. For fork mixer machine, I like to use this one. This way I can push the biga and help a little bit the, to melt the, the biga with the water. But if you have a spiral mixer, it will catch for sure. So no problem. So we're gonna mix it up for about uh, five, five minutes, five minutes or so. So like you can see now, the water is becoming the color of the milk, nice and white. That means that the bigger is melting really well. Okay, what I like to do now at this point, I like to turn it off the machine, make sure it's off, that's it. And now I like to uh, mix it a little bit with my hands. This way I can melt it really well, the biga. I like to melt the biga in the water. So you do this for a couple of minutes. I know it's a little bit complicated, but the biga uh, dough is for professional. So it's really hard, that's why also, I never made a video about this. Okay, guys, at this point, we can see the water is nice and white, so we are ready to add uh, the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna add uh, like a half amount of the flour. It doesn't mean, it doesn't need to be exactly half. Four or five spoon of uh, flour, just like that. So now let it mix for about a uh, couple of minutes. I'm doing the video like this open just because uh, for, video, for video purposes, but I also have the grill in front. So I just want to make sure that you understand that this is for video only purposes. So now we are ready to add uh, the salt. The salt just like this, little by little, not all together. Very important. Okay, so we mix for about a couple of minutes more. And now we are ready to add uh, the rest of the flour. But uh, remember one thing, not all together, little by little. Okay, now that we finished the, to put all the flour, we're gonna let it mix for about uh, 20 to 25 minutes.
we just make a little check. At this point, we stop the door machine. There you go. Now that we stop the door machine, you'll find the door a little bit uh, watery, a little bit sticky, but that's okay. So we let it rest the door machine. Uh, we let it rest the door in the in the door machine just like that. We don't touch it for about. Uh, five to ten minutes ten minutes is better this way the gluten will become more strong because we're using a, a fork mixer so if you're using a spiral mixer you don't need to wait you don't need to do this step if you use a fork mixer this in this case we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes to make the gluten a little bit stronger so let's wait 10 minutes okay guys at this point uh, after i've been waiting for 15 minutes uh, at this point we can turn it on the machine again and we can, like you can see now the door is going to be a little bit more strong you can tell now it's nice smooth so we mix it for about uh, two three minutes did you see it's nice and smooth so the gluten got a little bit more strong so two or three minutes and then you get a container just like this one huge and we can put the dough inside the, our container. We can turn it off. Now, piece by piece, we're, we're gonna take it off. You can see it's nice. I just wanna show to you the dough, how strong it is with the bigger. Look how strong it is. So now we're gonna place it inside a container. If you want, you can also split the dough in two different containers. We're gonna cover, make sure it's closed, and we're gonna let it rest for about one, one hour. Wow. Guys, wow. one hour, one hour space by. We're ready to make uh, the third step of the door. Woo. This is the door, how we find it. Wow. Look at this. Looks like a cream. Nice. So we're gonna try to take it off, just like that. So we're gonna create a big ball. You have to have a little bit of flour on the side, put a little bit on top. Just like that now, we have to create a big ball. Amazing. Now I like to put a little bit of olive oil on top, not too much. Just a little bit this way, the dough doesn't get uh, doesn't get uh, uh, dry. So now we have to uh, massage the dough just a little bit, just a little bit like that. Wow, this way the dough doesn't get doesn't get uh, 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 dry too much. Quindi. Nice. So now we let it rest for about uh, 30 minutes, 30 more minutes, uh, and then we are ready to make the balls. Let's wait. At this point, the dough is ready. I want to show to you just a little piece how strong it is. Look how strong it is. It doesn't rip. So this is what we want. We want to create a, a strong gluten. So now we are ready to make the dough balls. And it's very important that we keep this part on top when we make the ball. So you want to keep always the top on top. Just like that. And then you put it on the, on the counter or you put it directly in the dough box. You want always to keep the top part on top. If it's too sticky, get a little bit of flour, you put it on top of the dough, just like that. Ok 
Okay guys, finally we made the dough with bigger. Now this one the server thumbs up. So now pay attention a little bit. Pay attention a little bit because this step now is important. So we now we let it rest the dough at room temperature for uh, six hours and is ready to use after the six hours at room temperature. If you wanna you don't if you don't wanna use it uh, after six hours, it's very important that you block the dough in the fridge. So you can keep the dough in the fridge for about two days max because this is already with bigger, so the big is already 48 hours fermented. So you have to calculate it 48 hours plus six hours. So we got 54 hours fermentation after the six hours. So it's perfect, light and uh, soft. So let's go see, uh, let's wait six hours. Wow, guys, six hours has been passed by. I finally close. Woo! Finally close. I'm very tired. I've been working since this morning in this video for you. Also, I'm running the restaurant. The planet. Forget about it. We are here dedicating this and dedicating this art to you. I hope this video will really. Uh, really be helpful for you and I'm just asking please guys to share this video. This is the dough after six hours. Amazing. The smell amazing. So now it's time to make this pizza and of course like always on my video I'm gonna taste it. Yes, I'm gonna taste it. Let's make this amazing margarita. Thank you so much, guys, for dedicating this time to watching this video. Thank you. Gonna finish the pizza with a little bit of basil and done. The pizza is ready. It's there, guys. Wow. Wow. Take a look inside, guys. It's good. Take a look. Take a look of this pizza. Take a look, guys. Are you looking this? Are you looking? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, this is empty. That's it guys. Done. Done. Oh my god guys. Oh my god. I wanna I wanna see your comment below about this recipe. So sorry, I'm making love with the flavor. There's no secret, no secret in my channel. 